Hello and welcome. Lots of people have asked me how to do a screen shake, so I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So this is what you have at the end of this project. This will be on GitHub if you want to download it. And as a bonus feature, if you, we can also add a little bit of screen flash too. So let's get into it. So what I want you to do is I want you to make a new object and I've already made one and a new object is going to be an area 2D. It's going to have a collision shape 2D and then shape that how you like. We've got a sprite node and then what we've got is this sprite here. Once again, this will be in the project if you want to download it. And what's really important about this is if you go to your spike, make sure you go to your node inspector groups and hurt player is part of the group. Now we're going to make a new object and it's going to be a camera 2D node. We're going to attach two timers and one tween. Make sure that the tween and timer has the same name as these. And what we're going to do is on timer shake length is we're going to go to the inspector and make sure one shot is on true. Now what we're going to do is attach a new child to the camera 2D called a sprite. This is going to be our flash sprite. And then we're going to drag in this white square. And then what we're going to do is you'll notice that the camera bounds are around here. So make sure that this square is covering those bounds. Go to the visibility. We're going to go to the modulate and then we're going to turn the alpha back down. Now, as you can imagine, this gives a flash effect and we'll do this in code. Now I'm going to edit the player. So open your player object. You'll notice that we've got the old camera in here. So we're going to remove that. And we're just going to drag in the new camera object that we saved in our objects folder onto our player. And don't forget that we've just put a camera 2D in, so we need to make sure current is turned on. How we're going to achieve the shake is we're going to change the offset of the camera 2D. And we're going to use a tween to, to kind of interpolate like between one point to another to give a nice smooth effect. We're now going to edit the player by adding a new node. And this is going to be an area 2D node. We're going to add in a collision shape 2D and I'm going to use a capsule. Now what we want to do is shape where the player touches objects. Cool. That'll do for me. Change this to hit box area. So what's going to happen is that using this area 2D, we can now determine a collision with the sh uh, spikes. Now we want a signal when the area 2D goes inside another area. So to do that, click on your area 2D node, go to your signals. And what we're going to look for is area entered area 2D. Double click on that. We want it on a player and we'll just connect it. We'll come back to this later. Now we're going to go back to our camera 2D. We're going to add in a script and make sure this is in your script folder. Camera shake, open up, create the script and put the code in. So these four variables here are getting these nodes and we're just using it so we can then access them in code easy enough. These variables are pass through variables and that'll be explained a little bit later. And in our ready, we're gonna connect our timeout values off the timers in our signals. So let's put in them now. So you'll notice I've got an area reset camera. I will put that in now. So we can actually see the code a little bit better. I'm going to just extend this and I'm going to put in the rest of the code. So this is quite a lot of code and it's really hard to explain in one go. So what we're going to do is we're going to update the player. So that will make more sense of this code later on. And we'll come back to this shortly. So let's go back to the player script and go to the top. And what we're going to do underneath these variables about here, because we'll paste it in. And all this is doing is just we're getting the camera object and we can use this in this code. We're going to go back right down to the on hitbox area entered. And this will trigger any time our player touches the spikes. So this is where we want to do our screen shape. To do that, we could just do something as simple as start shape 1, 0, 0.02, 3. Now, if we go back to, to our camera shake, you'll see start shake here. And what we've just done there is our first variable is how long we want the shake to last. The second variable is how fast we want the shake to move. And the strength is how far the shake will go. This will then start both timer variables. So when this 
time variable times out, the shake will stop and this variable will start the actual shake itself. And it does this because the speed of the shake is quite a small number. It's normally something like 0 0.01. And then that will time out multiple times until this times out. So this will repeat forever. And that's why we didn't one shot it. And you'll notice when we've done start shake, we've got a doing shake equals true. Now to turn the shake off, up here you'll notice that the shake length will turn this shake off. Now while the wait times is going rapidly, we'll check, hey, how can we do a shake? Because we don't want to do a shake after this is ended. What we'll do is we will interpolate the offset of the camera from the random minus strength to the max strength on the X and Y by the speed we defined. And we've got some tweens, so you can mess around with this. I'm using trans sign and ease out. And lastly, you'll notice that when the screen shake stops, we'll reset the camera. And all this does is in one shot, we'll go from the offset and we'll say it just to the original, which happens to be 0.0, in this one. And then we'll start the tween. Now for our screen flash, it's a lot more simpler. It's just one method and it's called start flash. And we've got the speed of flash, so how fast a flash goes up and down and the strength, so how far and that'll be from zero to one. And you'll notice here that we're just changing the modulators alpha from zero, which it starts at, to the strength and then we tween it just as we did with this shake and while that is going up to the strength by the speed of the speed you'll notice that we've got a yield timer here and this will use the speed variable to determine when this reaches its max peak when it does we then want to execute this code which does the opposite it takes us from the max peak down to zero and that gives us a flash effect i don't recommend using zero to one something like zero to 0 0.5 works a little bit better i believe so right now there's no spikes in the world the player to actually collide with so let's put them in so go to the main go to your 2d i'm going to just do that and then we're going to drag the spikes in and now what we're going to do is just test to see if they work so now we should only really see rumble but not screen sh uh, screen flash but as you can see we've got some rumble going on here so what happens if you want to do the screen flash though let's do that now i want you to go to the code we're going to go to the player script and we're going to go right down to the bottom and we're, what we're going to do here is just go camera dot start flash remember the first one is the speed so i'm going to say 0 0.25 and I'm going to just say the strength 0 0.5. We'll save this and then make sure it works. There you go. It's a little bit slow, but you can just change that in the script however you want. Brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, for the people that recommended it, thanks for the recommendation. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.